Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 the lore series. We are about to get into hard lore. You ever heard of hardcore? Well, this is hard lore. We got Yehira, we're at camp by the way. And we got Minsk now, who is going to be joining us today. And if you know a thing or two already about the games, the previous games, you probably know where we're going. I don't know if we're, go if we're gonna get to do everything today. Um, but you know, it's gonna be probably a, a couple, a f couple of episodes uh, regarding that matter. You will see what I'm talking about. But let's rest because we've been doing a lot of stuff. Let, first of all, let me let me tell you, we've been fighting for a few days. We are pretty fucked up. We need to rest. We've been um, doing a lot of missions on the side, and we're still doing this whole thing with the clown. I got the torso, I think Astarion has the, the arm and the hand. We gotta get that done as well. Jenna is still here. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up a little bit just to see if we can do anything about that. Uh, more properly, of course. I don't wanna... I don't wanna do whatever, as you know. But yeah, let's let's make it night. Let's rest. Jahira. Oh, there it is. is trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand because you do not listen. No. <laughs> we were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and... Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Bo greet cheek with hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Uh, no, 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 no. Let let them carry on. Let's see. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege. Its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. Oh. <laughs> Very well. You're the one, only one Minsk listens to, remember? Yeah, the shapeshifter. Uh, speaking of feelings, does Minsk know you were the, really uh, ready to kill the Emperor for him? Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, this is very nice. We're gonna get to see a lot Even of this too. Doppelgangers? It is no comfort to me that my face made this fool all the easier to lead. The point remains. You meant well, Minsk. But you exposed the city to harm. You helped the cult spread. And worse, perhaps than any of this. You forced me to leave you behind. But this is where Minsk falls short of the understanding, Jahira. <laughs> what else is a berserker for if not to charge into danger ahead of his Weklarin? Weklarin? Minsk. Right. I am not your witch. You are not my bodyguard. Hey, hey, this hey. is not some high lodge of your homeland. I think that's a stallion. In Greece, you're a queer kind of witch. But this city is a queer place. And Minsk, you may have noticed, is sometimes strange himself. Ow. The titles matter not. Only this. When Minsk does as Minsk does and charges in to make a mess, Jahira does as Jahira does and finds a way to save us all anyway. Oh, very well then. <laughs> okay, let's history check, of course. Uh, when Minsk mentions the Wichar, Wichlaran, or whatever it's pronounced. Very well, so. Uh, in the previous games, uh, as it's custom on Russia, man, the place where Minsk is from, it's usual that the... Um, the barbarian, the berserk, has like a witch on his side. So the witch, uh, witchlaran or witchlaran, is um, it's, it's usually the wise women of Russia, man. They are bonded to a berserk bodyguard for life. Um, it says here there is no higher title nor deeper bond in all of Russia, custom. And in previous games, uh, that would be. Dynaher, I'm hoping I pronounced that right. You guys know I did not play Baldur's Gate 1 or 2. She was killed in BG2 by someone called John Irenacus or something like that. 
and since then Minsk uh, supposedly it's been like a very affected and looking for a new purpose that would be the context of this conversation very well <laughs> that's actually kind of sweet <laughs> oh oh I fight alongside fools no you hear that boo? we fight alongside our claren again why claren why claren ranger I am not your witch there will be no ointments or healing bombs. Not even for Boo? <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. There you go. So. Uh, okay, nobody needs to talk. We're gonna go rest. And we're gonna take Minsk. I do not really have anything prepared for him. I thought I'd think of two. A thing or two. We'll see what we come up with. You guys know that I... Whoa, what the heck? Oh. That's odd. We'll see what we... We can... Oh. We're in the prism. We made it. Now nah, it's probably... It's like... It's they say that homeless only dreaming. Ah, there you are. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman. The story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets for you. No mm. need to resort to subterfuge. Mm. We are true allies now, working towards a common. Very well, so here's the thing, lads. When you're building up the relationship with this guy, obviously you want to trust him. Everything he's done has been, uh, you know, to save us, to save your character, whatnot. And this is where a debate starts. At least I have not seen a concrete um, end to this debate about the morality of the Emperor. So I am going to do something. I am going to use my hand as the all-knowing guy in this series. And I'm going to guide our character in a way that I wouldn't usually do. Just to see a little, uh, a different face of the Emperor. So, to get that, I'm gonna tell him. Uh, why did you resort to subterfuge at all? The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to, to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. Right. Right, when I say you could have been open with me from the start. absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how reasonable you would be. So you see, you don't it's... like to be coddled, cajoled, but you responded well to logic, to rational arguments, to cold, hard facts. You saw straight to the core of what really mattered. 
So you see, um, he's always trying to uh, speak highly of you in front. Well, to yourself. But today we want to see a different thing. Yes, you did. Matter of fact, this is where you can start your relationship with the Emperor, I think. I mean, we already had a few opportunities, but obviously we, we would not do that. I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. You see? And this is where I tell you uh, I'm doing the thing that I would, wouldn't usually do. So, as I said, this is where you can start that whole relationship thing with the, with the Emperor. Um, you can just tell him he's been, uh, he's been misreading the signs. But if we do this one, absolutely not, you freak. Which is some, uh, usually something I wouldn't pick. I'm not, I, I don't think I play like that ever. But we're gonna do it because you'll see why. Freak. If only you knew. But why conceal it? You may as well see for yourself. That's Duke Stelmain. He was never her friend. Did you like it? The truth. This was the alternative relationship we could have had. Aren't you glad I finessed my methods? Since you insist on thwarting my craft, let us be blunt. You are my puppet. Make no mistake, without me you have no value. You will take me to the brain because you have no other choice. And once we are there, you will do exactly what I tell you to. And you would do well to reconsider unlocking your potential. Your puerile attachment to your material form jeopardizes us all. If I must, I will force you. There you have it, lads. There is the true. Hmm, I don't even remember what I have to do now, quite frankly. Very well. There it is. So yeah, a lot of people, as I was saying, it's a, it's like a debate, right? Because it depends whether it, whether you consider him being bad. It's um, usually discussed to be a thing of perspective and choices that you make. And of course, if you make different choices, you never get to see that side of him. Uh, but, you know, what we saw, it's the truth. So I couldn't really know what to think of it. So, pretty well. We are going to be benching Karlak matters ahead. And Karlak is amazing, but we want Hiraminsk. And we probably want to keep a styron around. So. Copper for your thoughts. Not really much. It's always it's always bad to bench someone, but you can't Sounds have it boring. all. You cannot have it all. Not even in Baldur's Gate Three. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Just like me for real. Very well. So we're gonna be seeing a few things about Minsk. Let's see if we get any dialogue. Also, Misora. There, maybe save it for next episode. You have found my friend who is already in negotiations with the guardian spirits of this place. And what in Baldur's Gate, they are likely to be rat formed and eager to charge rent. But Boo shall secure safe slumber for all. Now, oh. what do you need of Minsk? Very well, 
Uh, okay. Do you remember why you were meeting with the Sentarim? So the Sentarim lads, if you don't remember, that goes back when we were at Moonrise Towers, when they were still being run by the bad guys. And by, by uh, being inside with the bad guys, alongside the bad guys, we found this uh, ship shipment on the coast. And we found that r container with, uh, that was full of tadpoles. So those guys were the center in. Um, very well, let's see. So dark an alliance sealed with centish contracts, cultish vows, and a dragon's shining horde. Do you think Minsk could forget? You are correct. I have no idea what any of that was about. But we shall simply... <laughs> he bit him. Ooh, why do you nod my soft parts? I am trying to... It's raining. Once again, in smaller words? I see. This truth you seek. Boo believes that Minsk is knowing more than Minsk knows. But it is a difficult thing. <laughs> there are memories of this time that Minsk does not remember. And Boo suggests that just as he helps with tricksome itches in awkward places. <laughs> You must reach what Minsk cannot. The Parasite. You can use it to tickle free whatever truth you seek. Very truthful warrior. Very well. At first there is nothing. His mind is empty as a still expanse of open country. Oh. But then... <sighs> your face... The Stone Lord's face mirrored in bloodied steel. In the heat of burning buildings, you hold your blade high above pale, frightened faces. No, that is not right. I slew only monsters. The voice said that they were monsters. A whisper, the Absolute's voice, twisting the petty guild thieves before you into snarling, savage beasts. Feeding on the weak of your city. The guild. The Stone Lord hunted them. Peeled away their rotten ranks one by one to lay bare their corrupt heart. Nine fingers keen. That is what the Absolute bought Black Zenty Steel to do. To kill the Guildmaster. Oh, okay. The Guildmaster. Uh, we already met her. Yeah, we should probably go. Until Minsk arrives, the battle has not even begun. Whatever strangeness you believe you saw, there is only one simple truth in Minsk's mind. The cult is evil. The guild is evil, and Minsk fights evil. If you cannot believe his words, then watch his doings. We will foil the Zentish plot, and then we will show Nine Fingers the Five Fingers of uh. Minsk. Yes? <laughs> oh, well, very well. <laughs> uh... Yeah, they put they, they did put a bounty. It is only justice then that we put a boot upon hers. Very well, we got the mission. I'm gonna have a Minsk mission. What is it, my friend? Let's see if we get we can get anything else. You're quite quick to call me friend. Of course, my friend. Or are we not friends? Uh, of course, man. What the hell? And you have a sword at your side and a hamster at hand. Whenever you need them. Unless I die. Or you die. 
Or do you do anything at all to upset Boo? Oh, well, very well. No. Does Boo see a question in your eye, or just a parasite poking through? What's with the hamster? Well, Boo, explain yourself. Clear enough? Ah. Um... Yeah. Who has a way with words that we lack? All that space in the cheeks, I am thinking. <laughs> you will. Uh... Minsk shall be your shadow, as Boo is his. Alrighty then, we got Minsk. Boo says, what? And. Well, he is a ranger now. He changes classes through the games. Yahira did as well, I think. Uh, he's she's petting a rat. Ah, oh, I never saw that. Well, 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 you know that that's interesting. Very well. So we want to do respect here. We want to do the bills for him. Ah. Oh. Another. As you know, I usually try to prepare a little something name has been for each character. I don't really have anything I shall planned. Be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. And the thing is, obviously, we don't have uh, the, the the best weapons in the game. We don't yet have them. Oh, Arabella, that's true. We're gonna come back to that uh, because Withers has been in contact with her apparently. But yeah, As thou desire. and you want to leave it for when we finish with this whole thing, because a lot of things are coming up our way. So, as you can see, it's a ranger, initially a berserk, and what we're going to do, it's going to do a, a little multi-class uh, with, the, with the rogue. Um... Our baseline fighter, right? Um, do weapon fighting, I would say. I mean, he had this one, so we want to do a little something here. We want to clean it up, clean it all up because what I was thinking. And I know I, I sometimes take a little time with this. I try to make it as quick as I can, right? So, well, what I want to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do a dex base fighter. I'm going to do the dex 17 with the plus 2. I'm going to put strength to 15. And this one as well to, to 16 with the plus 1 constitution, right? It's going to leave it like that. And Justice walks on four feet and sleeps in my boot. Oh. And a few things I'm gonna show you while while we level up. So level two, we get the action search. Something very cool about the fighter. Uh, I don't know if many of you play the fighter usually because you have too many choices. But something cool about this the fighter, it's that well we're gonna we're gonna go with champion. Uh, this one is pretty good because you get the double dice, but I think we get that anyway. Uh, it's a critical hit. Oh, but I was as, say as I was saying, something cool about the fighter is that you get feet at level 4, level 6, and level 8. So we eventually are going to get the dex on 20 and constitution up as well. So at level four we got the first feet. Uh, I'm not I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right feet, right? And we're gonna do ability. I'm gonna put strength to 16 and dex to 18. So you see everything is square up now. The extra attack at level 5, of course. On level 6, we get another feat. 
uh, and that's when we get uh, dexterity at 20. Right. So, this can be pretty cool if we do it right, because I have something in mind. It's a build that usually shines when it's a boss with very high HP. Because it's it's like very, um, it's like a DPS, a very good DPS, in a way of speaking, of course. Okay, so we get a proficiency, and the jump is pretty cool. That one's really good. Uh, yeah. At level 8, we get another feature. And in this one, uh, well, we could do alert to begin the, to, to get the initiative, of course. And it's actually a few that are good for him, especially with the, with the, uh, with the way I want to play it. Um... Hmm, like dual wielder, for example. Yeah, I think I have to go with dual uh, wielder. Although, I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me make a save here, because when we do the subclass, I don't know if I can choose it again. So, I'll make sure to check. So, we're going to dual wielder. Why? Because I have a, st uh, a couple of stocks that I want to use in two-handed. You know, uh, two stocks at the time. Um, a stock, I mean. And we only can do that with this one, I believe. Because of the specific weapons that I want to use. So we're gonna do that. And... Uh, I should not have done that. <laughs> I remember just now. Because we have this subclass. Right. Back again. Because I should not have done that. Uh, and the thing is, because we get uh, we get another one, of course. I'm a, I'm a little bit of an idiot. You have to forget. So, uh, feature on level eight, uh, the one I wanted before. Where is it? Savage attacker. When making melee weapon attacks, you roll your damage dice twice. Right. So this gives you that uh, the two dice are for that and here we're gonna add the sub uh, subclass and we wanna pick rogue rogue thief because we want the the decks uh, on the sleight of hands and whatnot Uh, level 2 on the rogue we get the cunning that's why we want the, the, the rogue why well, that's another reason why we want the rogue and here you choose oh well I, I'm gonna choose this is not a guide or anything the thief we, wa we want the fast hands and whatnot and at level 4 we get the feature, and in the feature, it's when we're gonna take a uh, dual wielder. Otherwise I could not use double S-Stock. I'm not entirely sure if you cannot, but for the weapons I want, uh, that is not the case. So, I think they're both here. As you know, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible, and it might be boring for some people. Maybe some people like it, I don't know. So we're gonna get the uh, Pedal Sun Blade 818. These are not the best weapons in the game, as I, as I told you. We do not yet have the best, but um, with this weapon, you have advantage against Undead. Weapon enchantment plus one. You see, it's not that good. It's pretty alright. Then we got the Sword of Screams. It's basically the same, uh, but with Psychic and Piercing. Uh, I think you can do, uh, for, for double wielder, or whatever the feature was called, you can do anything that is finesse. You know, uh, even long swords. Matter of fact, this one has finesse. I want to take it just in case. 
Um. So we're gonna put this one here. Uh. And the sword of screams on the other hand. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. As for the helmet, I was thinking. Uh, I, th I believe Shadowheart has it. Precisely the gray, gray skull, something like a Grim Skull helm. Uh, I want to put that on. We're gonna take that, uh, this as well. Push out of her. We're gonna leave her naked again. I swear I do not do that on purpose. Obviously, you wanna hide it. We want the protagonism. Ah, well, cloaks. We don't have many, as you know. We only got. Um... Well, it's, actually, there is not many. Good clocks in the uh, in the game at all. I was thinking, uh, I got lots of stuff. This the Dark Justicia's gauntlets. Uh, one d four necrotic damage saving throws on strength plus one. Yeah, why not? As I told you, this is a little bit improvised. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, my character has this, has this one. This could be really good for him. But anyway. We're working with what we got. Um, I think I have the Harold in here. The Harold served us well for a while. But right now it's pretty... Pretty mediocre by the standards we have today in our run. I put that on just in case we're not really gonna use it, just for the distance. Uh, a sword ring. Hmm. Let's see what we got. I don't have any rings in the chest because. Uh, Characters have their rings, actually. Oh, okay. We're gonna get that one. And as I, and as I said, I don't really have... Nothing... Too good. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, so when I put this on... I think Yahira has the ever ever sight ring. Is there anything else I could put on her in the meanwhile? It's the mage hand, it's not really useful. Uh, it's kind of difficult to make all, all of this up. Deals acid. Mm. What have you got? Mm, okay, let's put this on Yahira. Just because I really don't have much, much else. And Life that way, and so is Minsk. I can put this on him. Right. So I think that would be oh okay, we we need a, a necklace. One last thing, one last thing. I I, I swear to god I'm not doing this on purpose. <laughs> no, I, actually she should be wearing clothes now. But I haven't uh we bought clothes the other day, right? And I haven't dressed them all up. But she'll come around uh, not so long after we get done with this. I'm looking for a necklace, right? Don't really have much.
Necromancy. Uh, whenever you take fire damage dealt by another creature, you gain uh, two turns of heat. Hmm. Well, as I said, we don't really have much. Okay, let's put this on him. You know, why not? And yeah, you can have one of these as well, I think. But this build on the two s stocks it's going to be pretty good. Especially, um, it, it shines pretty well when there is like a boss with a lot of HP. How many die today? Because How all the turns we have. Very well. So, we are ready. We have a few things to do today. I'm hoping that setup wasn't too long. Right, we're at the lower city. We're going to go towards... Uh, here. Remember, we are going to go to the Nine Fingers. And now that means is back oh boy there is some talking to do there is some talking to do you know they want to kill uh, Minsk because he was with the absolute not only that but we know that they are going to be attacked by the center in as we learned before so I wonder if we're gonna get attacked at the moment we enter yeah, it would seem not. Very well. <laughs> Radio. Oh. Hold it there. Bad time to come visiting my. Friend. Oh, these are the. Okay, this they're already here. Territory now. <laughs> Just as soon as we've purged it of guild rats. Oh, okay. Wait. We got fighting already. Very well. Oh, look at that. She's got that build of throwing daggers. Oh, she cleared off two of them. That's pretty alright. Very well. Uh, yeah, that's just, uh, just, that's just a gnome. We're not hurting them. Yeah, right away. Episode starts. Make a few setup things. And we're already fighting, you see. Oh. There it is. Uh, who are you? You're a bad guy. I still got the ambusher. Hmm, but I don't have a shot. Okay. So, Minsk. With Minsk, I think. Hmm. Interesting. We got many choices here. I think I'm just gonna use. Cunning, dash. Just gonna try to get as close as I can over there. I'd sooner split his skull, but as you wish. Right. <laughs> we only get the one-handed attack here because we already use uh, a cunning action. But you'll see. You see, we even have the action search. Another uh, non-lethal damage. We got non-lethal damage. <laughs> the action search. We can use that. Of course, as you know, uh, OG Laser has that. It's a fighter. And I thought we were going to be friends. Right. So you hear? Uh, oh, I might have sent Minsk too far away. Yeah. Well. Hmm. And I think that's all right for now. Here, lads, if you're watching the fight, 
I'm assuming with the timestamps now that I put. Oh, there it is. I assume with the timestamps that I put now, I'll, uh, people that watch probably skips the fights or something like that. But just wanted to share a little bit of something important. When this fight's over, I need to loot everyone. Because if I'm right about what I think I'm thinking, <laughs> we're gonna get a special object. I mean, it's not like that special or whatever, but it's reminiscent uh, to an old mission of Act 1. And I don't know, it's just pretty cool to look back on the on the episodes so, more than two months ago now on this series. And starting to see how things connect here in Act 3. She looks familiar. Right, so with this, with my paladin, I am going to. Okay, how's it going here? I'm going to miss this step. Um. Here. Good idea. Think. Mm, I don't have enough move movement. <clears throat> Very well. It's kind of difficult to see down here. Oh, that's a lot of damage. How many attacks? Oh. In the action search. What the fuck? Starion here. That guy is dead. Oh, he isn't. There we go. Um, also, want to start moving over there to get down if necessary. I have missed this. The adventure, the danger, the kicking of butts. <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh, I, I messed it up. Okay. Didn't realize. So uh, th there it is. That's the damage I was talking about. When he gets the you you heard the the dice roll right? Still standing, no matter what you heard. Well, Yahira doesn't really have much to do today. I mean, I could throw. No, I don't think I could because that would quite literally hit good guys as well. Oh, we got this now because of the necklace. Ah, uh, the ring. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's better that way, I think. Oh, that's not good, is it? These guys, uh, these guys have a lot of attacks.
Mm. Damn it. Damn. Anything else? Oh, yeah, that woman has three attacks. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. She was putting them daggers in. This woman will not die, by the way. Right. Done and dandy. Very well. So. Oh, that that might be just it. Something everywhere. Ah, it's just a ring. Very well. So. I am looking for something in particular here. No, it's not this. As I said uh, uh, at the beginning of the fight, I'm gonna scout it all. Uh, like has tried to push me down, make me crawl. Okay, this is a personal note for this person. Mm-hmm. There it is. Caravan strong box. So these guys, I don't know if you guys remember, <clears throat> this was the episode, I think, I believe, the episode right before the episode in which we meet Karlak. So when we met Karlak, an episode before, that's what I'm trying to say. And we fought a, a, few, a, a gnolls, you know, gnolls and hyenas and stuff like that. And in that area, there was an accident with uh, carriages, right? And we saw the notes, and it was like, uh, we need to deliver this to Baldur's Gate and whatnot. And all of that. So, this was uh, when we met the Centurion, and we allied with them to kill the gnolls. I don't know if you guys remember that. We were like, yeah, we won't get involved, just help us uh, kill these things and we met we met them we got to their lair and we learned a few things like they had a an a slave painter and a slave artist which we bought and released and he should be able to skate so <laughs> we also need to get looking at that as i told you everything is going to be connecting everything is going to be unraveling we're gonna keep that uh, I send it to someone else because uh, it's gonna encumber me. But yeah, just just so you you see how how long I waited for some of these things in the series. I don't know. I I don't know why, but it uh, to me it's entertaining. In moments like this, if you haven't seen the, you haven't watched the series. Moment like moments like this, we've had a lot in Act One and now in Act Three, in which I've told you that we're gonna have things connecting. But that being done, we're gonna go talk to the to the Nine Fingers. Oh, and before we talk with her, it's very important that you do uh, like if you're following this or something like that, or you don't understand why you don't get the mission for Minsk. It's very important that you pick a specific 
conversation apparently. I don't know if they fixed that. Kind of you to take the Zentarim down first. That doesn't make us friends. Come on then, Stone Lord. If you mean to take my chair, you'll get no better chance than this. Yeah, because they still think he's bad. Minsk has no interest in your furniture, Nine Fingers. Only in the wicked rump that fills it. What? You have been a stone in this city's boot for too long. And it will be no stone lord who reaches twixt border and sticky toes to dislodge you. It will be Minsk. I haven't got the slightest idea what he's trying to say. <laughs> Proof that he is back to normal. No. All right. <clears throat> So we're gonna explain everything. So explain it all. The tadpole, the absolute, his time as the stone lord. Explain everything to her. A bizarre tale. But it fits this idiot somehow. But if he's back to himself. Good. I'd rather you die as Minsk the mad Rashimar. It's silly, but do you know? You were something of a hero of mine when I was young. Even now, your tongue twists the truth. When you were young and ten fingered still, Minsk and Boo were stoned ten fingers and still. statuated on a city square. Aye, I remember the spot. By a garden on the right. Oh. A soft thicket near the market with ample pockets to pick. Celestia itself to a street rat looking for shelter. You might not have been wrestling monsters, but. You kept the wind and the rain off. You're old enough for me. You tried to dampen Pooh's eyes. Uh -huh. Do not think you will be spared his teeth. Evil is evil. Even if it was once innocent. Oh, I'm no innocent. But evil? Will you tell me? With the fist, the watch, and the council itself all licking the absolute's boots. Who's the only one left standing to protect Baldur's Gate? She's right, Minsk. She's been an ally down through the years. A friend, even. A friend? Jahira, Boo cannot believe his ears. Has the city fallen so far in our absence? Are there no heroes left? Heroes come and go. But the guild has always been here protecting the city. Until the Stone Lord came to break us. Oh, very well. Now, here there is a lot of things we can do. And they are all pretty, uh, fairly interesting. However, <clears throat> um, we can only proceed with this one. Uh, or with anything that uh, makes him accept her, basically. Uh, yeah, because otherwise we don't get the mission. I tried this before. Uh, and it's this one precisely. Well, Ranger, you cannot always leave it up to your Wachlaran to make a choice. I don't remember how it's pronounced. I just saw it at the be at the beginning of the video. Ouch. A two-dicer and a failure still. Come on. Jahira says she is no Wiklaren. Wiklaren, okay. Not. But if she says I should not honor, defend, and listen to her, it is the only time she has ever been wrong. If she trusts in Nine Fingers, if you do, then so will Minsk. But that means the things Minsk has done. I am shamed. Nadeshka, unworthy to fight alongside my friends. Ooh, what am I to do? I can't speak for your rodent, but I know something of debts. If you reckon you've got one to repay, well, we could always work together. With you? <laughs> Minsk has no lust for gold. That he would shake grandmothers by their ankles or set boo nibbling at their purse strings. I'm not talking about that. We've both <laughs> got bigger enemies than one another. The city's enemies. 
And tears honest truth. You gave my guild the wake-up call it needed. We've grown complacent. Lazy. Too sure of our standing. We never would have needed the Zent if we'd had a fighting force of our own. Swords for the city when the Watch and the Fist fail us. Like a berserker lodge of my homeland. No army or militia serving the local lords, but heroes working for the common good. Heroes? Sure. Very well. Minsk and Boo accept! I'm sorry, you... You what? Boo and what? I will be your berserker lodge, taking the ugly ways of your guild and beating them into a more virtuous shape. Oh. That's <laughs> not even slightly what I was saying. I wasn't asking. <sighs> you are right. I have proven myself unworthy. What? Well, what the hell? I cannot serve this city if I was so easily turned against it. If I do not know my own mind, perhaps I no longer know what is good. Very well. Uh... <laughs> uh... Okay, so I think it's uh, this. We need to focus on the absolute. You can negotiate your alliance afterwards, but if it's afterwards, might not give the mission. Let's see. You have planted a burr in my brain, Guild Master. Once I have dislodged the worm and redeemed myself in my hamster's eyes, we will return to this matter. My door is always open. Stone Lord. Right, so now we are not giving it. You are right. I have proven myself unworthy. I cannot serve this city if I was so easily turned against it. If I do not know my own mind, perhaps I no longer know what is good. Very well, that's it. It's simple then. Trust that Boo will guide you both. Yeah, that was the right one. Boo! 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 Kingpin Boo! <laughs> <laughs> My friend, your wisdom is vast and unknowable as the Rashimi High Country. What say you, Boo? When the Absolute is slain, shall we join Nine Fingers Keen and show her the ways of goodness? You did say he was your hero, Estelle. Uh, maybe you'll learn something. Oh, can't we just go back to killing one another instead? <sighs> All right, fine. Let's leave this particular fight for when the actual war is won, shall we? With the Stone Lord off my back, I'll be able to bring my people out of hiding. Cobble together a force so we're ready when you call on us. You have my thanks, though. I'm still not actually sure you haven't made my life that little bit harder. There it is. A the Underduke. We got it. Very well. One thing more done. And what is next? Very small. God knows where. Is that how our thing with Maul ends? I, I wouldn't like to think so. But anyway. To the matters ahead. We got that done. And what we want to do next. That's it. Uh, remember the whole thing with the targets in the city being killed right, left and center. Well, um, when we kill the dwarf, the killer, the murderer. We got, we got his notes and we got his key, basically telling us uh, where the council is, this council of Baal, and it's fairly interesting because we got um, direct access to it. Uh, we know where it is. It's actually around here. Actually, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, Candle Hallows Tombstone. That's the thing. However, 
it is pretty easy that in the fight, as I explained you when we had the fight, it's pretty easy that he runs away mid-fight because of all the shape uh, the shape shifters. So, it is a chance when you do this, when you've done that and you want to get in now, you won't have the key or the password and whatever. So, I'm going to show you now. Uh, we're not going to go there yet. I'm going to show you first a... Another option because you can always do the things a different way if you couldn't do it before. So, oh, uh, okay, so that's the wine festival. This is where we kill the the dwarf that was assassinating people. You can see the blood here. And over here, actually, we're gonna go do that just so I can show you that. Here, there is a some sort of kitchen. Uh, and this guy, the chef, it's a target. So, obviously, you have to go right, left, and center, warning them all. I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. Well, no. Uh, we never met. <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, as you can see, the option doesn't appear uh, to to tell him, to warn him that he's been... Uh, he's a target. I'll show you how to get it. But we're gonna do this little thing. Soul you are. No battle too small. Yeah, well, that's a little bit odd. It almost looks like he knows we don't know each other. But anyway, you go down here <clears throat> to clean the rats and whatnot. A lot of rats. Uh, oh, and a, a different way to get into the council, to get into the... to, to get the password and whatnot. Uh, that you could do obviously we're not gonna do that because we are the good guys you have to kill a few of the targets yourself and then a an assassin someone from the council goes to you and tells you hey you, you know you're doing pretty good why don't you why don't you come hang out and that's the that's the other way to get it. So you could have killed the dwarf and get the password. You could have come here and get the other passage around. Or you could have just killed people. You know? The game It's made to be completed. So you're not gonna be you're really not gonna be losing your opportunities. You point, I punch. In reality. the whole music and all to kill some rats there they come oh he gives damage back yeah because of the cloak he go uh, he gives necrotic damage <laughs> Right. Um, ah, this one. And 
Ah, here. No, that's dead. Is it? Yeah. Where's the last one? That's odd. Always the same old song. Okay, let me see where it is. Oh, it's right in the middle. Didn't see it. Very well. So you come down here, you kill all these rats. Get a little ring there. It's garbage. And you have this here. Uh, I don't think you can come through this place. Well, no. Particularly, I cannot. I don't know if you can. But this here, it's the entrance. But that would be doing it backwards, actually. And we already done that with a different place on the ground. So we're not going to do that. I just wanted to show it to you. You see? Press the button. It opened. And we got the door now. Right, so, why we couldn't warn the chef about him being a target? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it to you. Which, by the way, it shouldn't be this. Maybe we didn't read it. Uh, which I'm pretty sure we read everything. However, I don't know why it doesn't work like that. So, if you don't keep the papers or you don't read anything, this, this thing is a little difficult. Which it really shouldn't. Uh, that's a little weird. Okay, bloodstained notes. This is it. Uh, no, this is not it. I think it's this. No. Ah, this one. Right. Here are the targets. Duke Pelin Stelman, Father Lorgan, Dribbles the Clown. Alexander Rainforest, Frank Petrie, we've seen about them, Cora Highbury, we saved her as well. Figaro Pennywood, he was dead when we got there. And Chef Rovier. We're gonna take this. Just in case. I'm pretty sure we read this. Although I'm not sure. Because some, some things I remember by memory. So I might have not done it might have not done it in the series. But you have the notes. You read it, maybe you take it, just to be sure. And now we we got to him. You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good, perfect. Here, you take this. I need to warn you, Chef. Your name is on a murderer's target list. You see, now we can get it, I don't know why. Rats, murderers. Always knew the oh. chef gig wasn't going to be easy. <laughs> uh. Do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept peeled for murdering types. Very well, there you go. 300 gold. I don't even know why they give us XP and gold now. We have quite literally uh, stacked up. And we're running out of time. We're going to be... Uh, wrapping up for now. Mm. Retrieve the stolen gold from the scent leader. Yeah, so we need to do that as well. So. Uh, we're going to go to the bank and do that. But I think we'll do it uh, next time. Because we're going to wrap up. And before wrapping up. I just wanted to show you. Uh, pff, no, maybe we should go to camp. Nothing will happen, but I guess we should, we should go to camp to do that. Very well. So, yeah, here is here. And the thing we picked up from the center in. The, the chest that I talked to you about. That is from like episode four i think it's episode four or five i don't remember very well mm, we talked to you about that mission actually I, I i'm pretty sure i pointed out that mission for you to remember 
It's been a while, so it's fair enough you don't remember. But it's a 20. Right. Now, let's have a look here. Iron flask. Glowing flask. A flask that can hold friends and foes, likely to make a former, uh, the former the later. Very interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, look. Decorated with a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Right. When I save here, just so I can show everything to you. Ah, very important, lads. You're following this in in some way, which you probably shouldn't because it's, it's a slow series. Do not open this. <laughs> Do not. Right. Disguised among the decorative elements, you notice a familiar arcane engraving. This is a powerful magical item, capable of trapping and holding a creature. The sealed stopper suggests it is inhabited. Right, so it's got a creature inside. Pretty much. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. But, uh, yeah, we're running out of time. We're going to wrap up. Uh, we got Minsky and Yehira. We are going towards that Baal Council sort of thing in next episode, hopefully. And that's basically the reason why I want them both to be around. Because it's going to be pretty, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's going to be a lot of uh, previous games related stuff. And a character that if you know a thing or two about the games, you already know who that one might be. Well, with anything more to say, I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Be good.